folks, listen here. Listen here just for a second. Listen, we, we, listen. Self-love does not replace love one another, period. Point blank, period. This self-love stuff does not replace love one another. We have become so self-trending, I don't even, and indulgent, <laughs> so self-trending and indulgent that we can't even seem to own when we have affected somebody in a negative way. That we've moved to this space where everybody's responsible for themselves. You're responsible for your own emotions. You're responsible for your own life. You're responsible for your own and whatever, whatever it may be. And, 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 it, and it becomes this thing where um, we don't take ownership for the fact that we have affected and sometimes infected other people with how we live, our behavior, the way we go about life, and this is that and the other. And, and it's all under the guise that everybody has to, um, you know, again, take responsibility for their own emotions and take responsibility for their own feelings and take responsibility for their own life and take responsibility for how they respond to, you know, being slapped in the face or how they respond to uh, being burned by fire or whatever the case may be. Now, I'm not saying that that is not true, that we have to at some point take responsibility for our levels of healing. But what I am saying is we are that, that just because that exists does not make us exempt um, as a relational being from actually participating in one another's healing and actually living in lives where we don't hurt one another or where we don't, um, uh, uh, how can I put it, uh, affect one another in ways that tend to be negative. We have to have everyone's best interest at heart. Listen, self-love really doesn't mean much when you separate it from loving others, loving God, loving lo love itself. Because see, we continue to see all of this stuff as divided. The universe, the world, God has created us as one, has created a, a sense of oneness that's there. None of this stuff should even have to be separated to even make the statements of self-love versus others' love. This is still thinking in duality. This is still thinking um, on, on, on some type of binary plane or whatever, you know, but the reality is when we really start to understand the depth of love, and when I say understand it, I'm not saying that you can detail it all, but I'm saying really get a clear glimpse of what love really is. It's a sense of oneness and well-being for all creation, all that exists. So then we come together differently and we don't need to have these conversations. And I don't want to say that it's immature to talk about self-love, but a lot of that movement has made people that have needed relationships or um, 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 looked to relationships to help support them in life have made them look like the ones that are immature as if we've evolved to something greater because we, we've we identified this thing called self-love, all right? And again, I'm not totally speaking against it. I'm speaking towards just love, period. You are included when love is present. It's not a thing where it has to be separated or whatever. And when we truly understand it, even even you know you have the Christians that talk about oh love God with all of your heart, love your neighbor as yourself. And I can't love my neighbor as myself unless I love myself first, folks. Some of this stuff is a bunch of crap, a bunch of crap. All right, it it I get it. I get what it's saying. But why can't we look at that and say love my neighbor as if they are me? love my neighbor as myself and even still with all of my heart we're afraid to love each other with all of our heart because we think that's bowing down and worshiping somebody that's not bowing and worshiping somebody it's called loving them it's called loving them and and and, and specifically again these are for those that use christian scripture you know it says how can you love god and hate your brother and the word hate your brother doesn't necessarily mean hate him that you hate him but the reality is that word love is agape love it's an unconditional love that is shared amongst all Right. You know, so the quality of it, the quality, not just talking about the quantity, the quality of it is the same. The same measure by which I love God should be the same measure by which I love you, which should also be the same measure by which I'm loving myself because it's coming from me as a being and, an, a, 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 and a creation of love in love as love. This, this, that, and the other. All right. And it even gives me room and the ability to put myself before you in some instances. It's not thinking lesser of myself to make a certain sacrifice for you. It's saying that I recognize my sourceness, that I, rec I recognize 
my source and that I have a sourcing ability. I recognize the giver in me to be able to give to you. This is not me putting myself second or putting myself as, and what I mean, putting myself as a lesser. It's not me putting myself lesser. It's actually me rising to the occasion in, in many instances. And again, all of it requires wisdom for us to use wisdom. But some of this, and I may sound a little frustrated, a little angry because I'm seeing us use this self-love stuff to me seemingly um, and sensingly in such a wrong way. It's, it's like you we're going from one extreme to the next. But the reality is we've come to this place and I've seen folks hurt people and say, well, that's on them. If they felt this kind of way, that's on them. And they need to know, folks, we have been given each other as relational beings to be suitable helpers one to another. This ain't just about being married to somebody, it, you know, marriage and romance and this is that and the other, whatever. We have been given to one another as a human race, as a human uh, entity to be suitable helpers one to another. Do you know that that word translated suitable helpers really would mean that we are created to be lifesavers one to another? Mm. Lifesavers one to another. And you thought it was only Jesus. Yeah, but, but, folks, listen, listen, listen. I, th some of the reason we have entered into a lot of this space is because everybody, a lot of people have been violated in so many ways. We've been hurt. We've been abused. We've been misused. All right? Not just we've been used. We should be used. <laughs> But we've been misused and taken advantage of and taken for granted and all of those things. And this is the wisdom. The wisdom is we should treat each other with a love that says you're valuable, that with a love that says you're worth it, with a love that says you are I am because of you, with a love that says I really truly don't win if you lost. We should treat each other with a love that's a well-being for all. And sometimes, yes, it gets tricky in trying to figure it out. But this is why our greatest prayer should be a prayer for wisdom. Wisdom on how to actually relate on this planet. Why am I here? I'm not just here to get my riches. For me to live in the fat crib. And the, this is, I am here as a relational aspect for being. But we have been overtaken by a lot of the systems that humans created. All right. Um, all in our And we call this greatness. Greatness at the end of the day really is taking care of one another. Greatness at the end of the day is really valuing one another and honoring one another and, 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 and speaking to one another's divine relational worth. All right. This is what relationality is really all about. Our relationships and spirituality. That's what life. This is what life is ultimately about. Don't be so engulfed in trying to hone and sharpen this self-love that you miss what it really means to love one another. You are included in that one another. You don't have to make such huge separation between you and them, all right? And that's what a lot of people are, not everybody, but that's what a lot of people are doing with, these, with this whole self-love thing. We are so self-trending and self-indulgent that we are becoming lovers of self so much so that we're leaving people to themselves when none of us were created to be left to ourselves. Point blank, period. I am love for you, and I hope that you will still be love for me. Love one another, y'all. Peace.